Well, it's, I'm shooting this, uh, it's almost June 1st, and so now we have to be thinking about heat. We've been thinking about cold for the last few months, but now we're thinking about heat. So today we're going to start a video series on staying cool in the heat. Uh, there's two kinds of cooling, and that's what we're trying to do, is cool off the inside of the van. There's passive cooling and active cooling. Passive cooling is putting up shade and turning on fans for ventilation and getting yourself damp because when you're damp you cool off by evaporative cooling. Uh, so that's passive cooling. Nothing mechanical is going on. You're just take, doing, except for a fan if you have a fan, you're just doing things to minimize the heat inside the van. Active cooling is with an air conditioning. You are creating cold uh, or more accurately, yes, don't write me, don't, no, no bunch of letters, you're not creating cold, you're removing heat. But at any rate, the bottom line is you're creating cold to be inside the van uh, by removing the heat. Um, and so that's another ball game, and most of us are not really practically able to do that. You have to have electricity, and so you have to have a lot of solar. Most of us don't have enough. You have to have a generator and run it all the time and carry all the gas and change all the oil and listen to the generator. And most of us don't want to do that. Um, or you have to be plugged in at an RV park or at a friend's house or somewhere where you're getting electricity to run an air, air conditioning. So we're just going to we will have and we will have videos on air conditioning off solar and off a generator. So we'll talk about that. But right now we're talking about passive cooling. Now I am looking directly into the sun. I am facing due south. It's 12, it's almost 1 o'clock, and uh, the sun is straight overhead, and I am got the van roughly due south. I think that is the first step in keeping your van as cool as you can. I'm in the trees. You can see some trees around me, um, but I want the sun to be hit the van. I could park in the shade, but I want this, the van to be in the sun. So how am I going to keep the van as cool as possible even though I have to park in the sun to get the solar power. I am going today, we're going to show you how to use one very simple thing. Now, at dead noon, the, van, the back of the van is facing towards the, uh, the, uh, the sun. And what's going to happen is the sun's going to rise over here, arc around, and set over here. Well, I have trees on both ends, so I'm not going to get morning sun probably until 9. And this tree is really tall, and I'm probably going to lose that sun, uh, I would guess, by five at the latest. I have probably another three hours, four hours of sun left. So uh, this, I am going to get shading. What is important to me is that I get the noon sun, maximum amount of noon sun when it has its most power. I'm getting the most electricity. If I can do that, I'll be okay. So by pointing my back end, my windows, these are dark tinted and they're the minimum amount, and so uh, the minimum amount of heat is going to get inside the van. And I am going to do something to keep the heat, even more heat, from getting in. This is a space blanket. Uh, this is not one of the really cheap, um, you know, the, the emergency ones that fold up into like the deck of side of the cars. They just fall apart. They're really great as emergency for an emergency, but I don't, I'm not having an emergency, and I don't want something that's just going to fall apart. This is a regular old space blanket. I bought it from Amazon, uh, or you can buy it from uh, uh, Walmart. I actually said Walmart sells this brand. I'll have a link in the um, in the uh, video description. The video, as you can see, it's just aluminum uh, foil. A reflective material on one side. It's got grommets. It's a space blanket and uh, orange, international orange on the other side. So if I were in an emergency and I needed help, I would put out the orange side. Of course, I'm not. So here's what I'm going to do. I also have magnets. I always carry magnets with me. I'm a big, big fan of magnets. So and these are, uh, I ordered them all off Amazon. I bought a 36 pack. They no longer sell the 36 pack. And I got these, um, this was a, they're now selling them as 12 packs. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is 10 of 12. And I have a whole bunch of them, but this is just what I grabbed and brought out. Uh, and these are really good. They're ceramic, they're not the precious metal ones. I'm not fond of those. Uh, these are cheaper, and uh, I, I prefer them. The little tiny disc ones that are super, super strong, they're so hard to work with. I don't like messing with them. So here's what we're going to do. 
I want to keep the heat from getting inside the van. That's my only goal, to keep the heat from getting ever even getting in there. So I'm not going to put the reflectics on the inside, although I would if I had to. And, but I'm in the woods, no one around, uh, so I, don't, I can have it on the outside. You say, it's ugly, Bob. I don't care. I want to be comfortable. I don't care what you think or anyone else thinks. I want to be comfortable. If you care, if you're having out here having a fashion show in the middle of nowhere, that's your choice. I am not. The long ways has to go across. So again, I just drop a magnet. I mean, that's not very complicated. Everyone here can do that. And we'll go across, go up top, and what will I do on this side? Something really complicated. I'll drop a magnet, and I'm done. I mean, and there's got a bit of breeze, so I would be concerned about it. To, oh, I'd actually rather keep that off. If I had metal here, I'd keep that off. But you just drop as many magnets as you need. And if you've got a windy day, then you're going to need more. What I Oddly, on the Chevy Express, this is fiberglass, and I don't know what the, they were thinking. This whole corner curved panel is fiberglass, so of course I can't uh, drop a magnet on fiberglass, so we got to stay out here. Be fiberglass too. Oh, that's the top. Oh, there's the door. Let's put one there and one there. Just however many you want to put out. And there you go. And I'm done. Now, why is it such a big deal that we have the material out here? This is already hot. My, my, my hand is already really, really warm. Because you don't want the heat to ever get inside. And if you have reflectix on the inside, the heat will go through the window, it will heat up the metal, and get the metal really hot. I had a friend who was had a, a, a cargo van just like this, and before she insulated the walls, she was in laying in bed taking a nap, and uh, on her bed, right up against the walls of course, and so she left one of her fingers up against the wall, and when she woke up in terrible pain, she had a blister and a burn on her finger from the heat of the metal of the van. Well, when she insulated the wall of the van, that stopped being a problem. But, you know, it's really hard to insulate these back walls, these doors. So the heat will never reach the skin. And uh, if you really wanted to go all out, and I have a second one and I could do that, is I could... As the sun moves around and is hitting this side, I could put up one of these on this side. All I have to have is another 10 magnets, and that's going to cost me five bucks. And this thing was like 11. I think this was 11 or 12 dollars at Walmart or on Amazon. So I could have one on this side, and then when the morning, because I'm I'm running north south. That, that's south. There's the sun, and that's south. Uh, the arc of the sun is like this, slightly to the, to the uh, north of east and west. So I could put one in that, on the east side in the morning, and then once the sun has passed and now it's shining on this side, I could move it over to here, and the heat would never reach the skin of the van. And of course I've got solar panels on top, don't I? So you can see a lot of the roof is now shaded by the solar panels in the summer. That's a really terrific thing. So these, uh, I have 400 watts, uh, four 100 watt panels up there, and I've got a lot of shade of the fiberglass uh, with those. And what you're always, the, one of the key things you always want to do is the window, the doors and windows that are on the opposite side of the sun. Again, in the morning, that's this side, this is the west side. There's the sun, uh, there's east, there's west. So in the morning, I want this window and door open and, and uh, with mosquito netting because be, bugs will become a big problem, won't they? And we'll talk about, we'll do another video on how you can make mosquito netting and that's coming up too. Uh, so I'll have that door open and window open and mosquito netted and this one closed 
uh, and even pr covered, you know, I could be covering it. That east side in the morning, then cover the south side towards afternoon, and then add an additional one on the west side in late afternoon. Uh, and so you keep the whole van really well covered. Heat will never get inside. It will never hit the skin. This is already hot, but if I put my hand under here, the, the skin of the van is cool. Uh, and so that's your goal. Heat never gets inside. That is passive cooling. The best you can hope for is to have the inside temperature or the outside temperature. So if it gets up to 90, the inside is going to be 90 degrees also. Um, and so unless you have active cooling, which I, I've never had active cooling, meaning an air conditioning of some kind. So there you go. This for, for the cost, this was $25 probably, $25 or $30. This will last me indefinitely some magnets, a space blanket, and I've got cooling, pass, really good passive cooling all summer. And I'm not, good, I'm not having a fashion contest out here. I'm out here somewhere where there's no one around. There you go. That's an easy, simple, cheap solution to stay cool in the summer. And we'll talk about many more in videos to come. So I hope you got something out of this. If you did, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel. And you know what? We'll talk to you later.